Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at making someone hide behind a pole. So, you know, the pole is nice and thin and then here you come and you you hide behind the pole or you, you walk out of the pole. Kind of like what you see in cartoons. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Alright, so in this case we're going to be using a dog and we're going to throw the ball. He's going to come running right out of the pole, but you're only going to see him from one side. So here we have this footage. I'm going to drag that into the timeline with the right mouse button let go. I only want the video across time. Okay, so here I have the video footage, but I only want to get the end here. So let's see. Just drag. Oh, oh you almost got a glimpse of me. Okay, so I threw the ball. We can cut it off right there. Let's just move this forward, cut that off, and then bring this to the front. Okay, when you record this, you want to make sure that your camera sticks to the tripod. You can uh, chew some gum and uh, just stick it to the tripod or just screw it on if your tripod has a screw mount. Make sure it doesn't move and leave it there for a little while. Let it record some footage either before or after you record the main part. So this is the main part right here, okay? Now before or after that you can just record some footage, just let it roll. And that's what we have here. I just let it roll a little bit here in this area so that we can have the trees moving on in the background, the clouds moving, these flags moving over here, and the grass as well. Now do keep in mind that if it's a really cloudy day, you're going to have a lot of lighting changes. And this was shot around noon, so the sun was pretty much right above us. And there wasn't too many clouds, so not too much light fluctuations happening there. Um, but just you know, keep in mind, if the lighting does change, this effect isn't going to work out as you'd hope. Best to have controlled lighting conditions such as indoor or uh, you know, just be sure that you keep that in mind when shooting outdoors. Alright, so I'm going to use this clip right here before the camera starts shaking. Let's see. Right around there. It was so hot outside, you know, and the gum just started to stop working, you know. Okay, so let's copy that and let's add a new video track. Insert video track. Control shift Q is a shortcut key. And I don't have to give you the Mac shortcut key because Vegas Pro is not available on Mac. Okay, so let's paste this below here. And that's plenty of footage. Okay, so we have the regular footage. And then he comes in. Voila. We can actually cut this a little short. Uh, we don't need all that extra. Okay, he goes in right, right in there. And let's see. Yeah, that, that'll work. All right, so we only want this portion of his body to show. We don't want this part. To show so it looks like he's coming out of the pole we're going to go into the event pan crop here and in here let's go ahead and add the mask here all right so what we need to do is check out where this ball comes from let me move forward a few frames and the ball shows up right there so I just need to keep that in mind when I'm masking this out so I'm gonna start out at frame one and let's just mask it out. I'm going to start right here because I know that part needs to be. I'm holding control just to move that. And it doesn't need a lot so we can just kind of cut that off right there. Go over and boom. And you can kind of see we went halfway across this pole. Just so we get the full effect when he runs by. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's it's gonna be good. All right, and you can also add a little feather if you like, both in or out, whichever works. In and out burger. Okay, uh, let's just bring the feather up a little bit to around 3.2. Should look okay. Let's see. And hold control so that doesn't start docking itself. And uh, that should work. Let's see. Let's see what happens with that ball. Oh yeah, right in there. Okay, close out of this, and let's run through this real quick. Beautiful. Now, if there is a very slight light change, let's see. You see that? Very slight light change. We can kind of fade this in so it's not that drastic, and we'll still be able to have that effect. You can even fade it out if you'd like. Let's RAM preview this. Shift B. See what that looks like. 
nice and if you look closely you have to make this big screen obviously but if you look closely you know the trees aren't going to change uh, the flags are still moving the same and everything's the same because we have the footage on the bottom uh, the top track right here is only showing that part that we masked out and that's all there is to it so next time you want to play hide and go seek and uh, you record it you can hide behind a pole just be sure you do use a tripod and you keep the lighting inside so don't shoot the footage at 8 a.m. and then shoot the background footage at 12 p.m. you know there's gonna be a light difference try to keep them pretty close to each other now it doesn't just have to be a pole you know it can be anything you can come up with uh, anything okay guys anything except for that what are you guys thinking come on if you like this video be sure to click that little like button down below and if you'd like to see more like these click that subscribe button up at the top if you'd like to contact or follow me all my links are in the description below hope this helped thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one okay here's your paycheck oh yeah okay give me that mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys didn't get one. <laughs>